All right, so here today we're talking about some of the characters you kind of want to have over here on the uh, the global launch, and also characters in the future just to keep in the back of your head, uh, so you are aware of who's the best and why they are the best, and again, the reasoning for said reason, right? Makes sense, I hope. Today, let's jump into it, like and subscribe, it's out of time. All right, all right, calm down. All right, I finally, finally, lost rerolling still. We're not there yet. We're almost there. Um, at this point, I just started pushing this account, because this is the closest. This is the closest to an actual good account. Um, I'm still rerolling on my other accounts here, but... It's going miserably. How, how did you do? Let me know. Like and subscribe. Helps out a ton. Thank you for the support. Let's hop into this and let's break it down uh, to the best of my ability. First off, we're going to be using Prywin for multiple reasons. They have the tier list built in. They have the character skills built in. They have the stats built in. They got everything over here, so it's a little bit easier uh, for us to kind of go through everything per se. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Realize again that they are far. Where where JPKR is, they're at the six month part, uh, where they have characters you won't have for a good amount of time. Let's take example, Char uh, Charmy Halloween version. Realize these are characters that again will release at some point. They'll release to be probably as we saw them on JBKR. Will they get nerfed? Will they get buffed? What will happen? We don't know. So again, just make sure that's clear that this video could age poorly because they could release, you know, Summer Noel and butcher her kit. They could do that. It's something that again we can't guarantee. So let me make that clear. But let's start with the global characters, right? Because again, if we hop over here to the tier list function, uh, we can check out what it looks like for the current global PVE meta basically the starting meta yeah and it's it's kind of abundant in pve charlotte was given to you for free you have to realize that this character is going to be outstanding for farming and other stuff like that she is a very very good character and again she's simply for free uh they usually have a pros and cons section kind of sucks they don't have that in this game uh, but they do cover that on multiple games uh, but again powerful debuffer over here uh she is of the uh power class over here um for this character again if you were to look at it um attacks after granting 30 percent increased damage dealt if an enemy has a mark over here applies reduced defense over here 50 percent chance to inflict a mark so again these two go hand in hand it's similar to a lot of characters in this game where one has for example like yami a bleed effect right after that has a stun effect which can come in clutch for a lot of content uh to be able to just mass aoe um in a way and then slowly pick them off by stunning them right that's there 40 percent chance to inflict bleed on an enemy dealing continuous damage for two turns so again you have this uh, also over here and inflicts reduced attack level 30 three on all enemies for two turns so again a very good character also you have an aoe over here you have an aoe over here you got two single targets over here so the character is going to be very good um i do recommend that if you have her you'll be able to use her here and there um still on the right side over here you have lotus and mars right like the two characters everyone says uh to reroll for because again the red dungeon is the main dungeon like the red area is what we kind of want to really focus on uh, that is where we're going to get the good stuff and lotus and mars are going to excel excel in those two locations so remember that is something to clearly remember that when it comes to farming when it comes to other stuff like that uh these two characters will be your bread and butter so please keep that in mind and again when you are taking care of everything realize that these characters will still be there if we were to look at like pve content when it comes down to it mars and lotus are still s tier even after the release of someone like julius the release of fauna um, and other characters here they still will remain for this category to be very powerful so it's again something that we tell you to sort of keep in mind and also just like don't really think that everything's over um like for now as if you know i'm pulling these for what reason and then later on they're dead no they're still going to be very good so please keep that in mind um and that's just the kind of 10 cents of it all um but yeah again uh they clearly also say that he is the best uh debuffer in the game um and still till today and uh jpkr he is still very good uh and pvp wise so let me not like lie to you here he's still up here for pvp both mars and him so realize that it's it's worth it and again red gear being a very core aspect of the game they're gonna excel so that's both again from mars uh, and lotus both characters are very good um and will help you a immense amount a immense amount so please do keep that in mind um beyond that again with the pvp side just so you know uh yes these characters fall off here in the aspect of just getting dropped one tier which is going to be fine it's going to be okay like that um it's, it's bound to happen if you were to look at it still these two characters kind of excel here uh yeah she charlotte's not like a 100 percent pvp character so please know that um more so as time progresses she'll drop down there but pve wise these two characters are, uh, are meant to be taken a look into uh beyond that you also have academy asta very strong single target damage very good character for a lot of content boss raids all that uh, sort of stuff he'll excel there and in right now season one of pvp uh both him and blue yami will do pretty good so again those like the two characters uh, that are mentioned because again you're form blue team you're gonna form them with yami um and then when you have asta just great attack damage uh big uh, damage increase and all that so just realize that he also uh, is gonna be very good 
correct? And then again, <laughs> one of the best healers in the game, probably the best healer in the game, right? Um, is Mimosa getting 100% over here um, for S+. Plus. Again, we don't currently have an S+, plus over here, but she's still an S character. You can clearly see only global both aspects. She's S and S+. Plus. And currently, it's still till today in PvE uh, and PvP for JPKR. She still holds up that title. If you were to look at it, like this is where it currently looks like uh, for JPKR, which is after six months. Charlotte's still up there. Yami's still up there. Radies is still up there. Mimosa's still up there, okay? Go to the right side over there. Um, Mars, still up there. And Lotus, okay? So remember, if we're looking at like the top characters, these are the top characters per se, for still, after all this time, six months, remaining at S tier is a pretty ridiculous thing. So just, just keep that in mind, right? Going over here to PvP, uh, sadly, nobody in S plus over here. Uh, Radies is S plus currently, so for PvP, keep that in mind. It's pretty nice. Uh, nothing over here. Um, Finral. <laughs> I mean, hey, we'll take that. Uh, this is season four for Golian, so nothing there. Uh, we still have Mimosa, so another character really excelling after all this time. Then hopping over here, Lotus and Mars. I mean, if you were to look at it, they are doing very good here. Uh, and then A tier, you're seeing a lot of the standard characters. Uh, for again, example, you have Asta, you have Charlotte, so that's already two. Uh, I think this is the same Yuno, so there's three. William Vonjins, this Yami over here. So, you know, there's a good amount um, that also get placed up here. So uh, do keep that in mind. As we were to go down to the C tier, Damn, Veto's that bad. <laughs> Damn, Vanessa's swimsuit's that bad. Uh, such a good uh, design on such a bad kit. That's crazy. Uh, that's painful. That is a uh, Jack the Ripper. That's, that's even more painful. Damn. Uh, and that seasonal Asta. <laughs> Damn. Um, but yeah, that's what... Damn, Yami also falls off too in PvP. Wow. Yeah, so that's what I was kind of mentioning. But I mean, I never like scrolled that far into this. I'm just curious. Is that... Does she... Yeah, she just sucks everywhere. That's crazy. She's beats here, bro. Damn, what a good design on such a bad kit. They better buff it for global arm fighting. Uh, we have Veto over here, <laughs> right there. Uh, that's tough. Queen of Witches also launched. She's PvP in uh, A tier, so that's, I mean, that's not bad. But um, that's crazy. I'm hurt. Nah, my comment's going to be like, you're down bad. That's all it is. No, I'm actually hurt here that that's not... Uh... Yeah, I, I again, I gave up JPKR after like three, four months. Um, so at, at that point, when that released, I don't even remember it. I remember like talking about it on my GC channel, where I was like, oh, man, we can't get this in GC, but can't believe that she's that bad. It hurts my soul. Uh, beyond that, back to this again. Um, these, these are the rankings, all right? So for right now, these are what it's going to look like. As time progresses, you see that a lot of the characters will remain to be top tier. Again, your two characters for farming red deer, P uh, red gear, not red deer, red gear, uh, PvP and whatnot, that's going to be there. A great character to last over here in PvP for a bit. Over here, kind of see he falls off to A tier um, and A tier in PvE. Again, that's not bad, though. That's still pretty solid up until, what, Season 4 or Season 5 when these two finally take the take the reins. Season 2, Noel is just built different. And then Season 6, Manga, right? So you, you got time. But for what it is, this is what it currently looks like. Um, whoever I else should go over. Radies is, is simple. He is just a very strong character. A really good shielder. He'll be there, I think. Um, what was that? I read it somewhere that he's there until Noel pops up, so just keep that in mind. Um, that he is there. Uh, he's gonna be very good for, again, early PvP. And then still, as time progresses, still makes it there for PvP. He's currently S plus over there, so very good character. Um, and he's, uh, using the blue dungeon. Right? Yeah, he's using the blue dungeon because he's a green character. So, also realize that, uh, top tier character takes time, but will always remain to be very, very good. So that's why we kind of mentioned that you might want to have him. Um, but the other characters, kind of where they rank up to. Um, and yeah, that's just a tier list. I wanted to go over a little bit so you get like an idea. Uh, this is what everything looks like. Um, if you see your character here, sadly, yeah, they're going to be uh, ranking a bit, <laughs> a bit bad. Uh, but if we were looking over here, a lot of characters. Again, the free one you get over here, if you're chasing Red Yami, he'll still be pretty good. Falls off in PvP. Uh, but you're chasing Radies, you're doing pretty good. You're chasing Mimosa, you're doing pretty good. Uh, chasing Lotus and Mars, you're doing pretty good. Um, and then again, Season 1 Asta will last for a while. Realize, this is six months. You have to, like, please put that into perspective that it's six months. So don't think, like, oh, I saw this tier list, and I'm not going to pull Asta anymore. Uh, I'm not going to pull Yami anymore, because all of a sudden, now it's like they take they, they just die later on. It's going to happen. Power Creep's going to happen. Six months of a game is a lot of time. Characters have to change. But when the core roster and a good amount of them still remain to be that good kind of puts an incentive to make sure you're doing your things properly on launch so that you can you know enjoy the next few months of the game right that's that's basically the point that anyone can put uh, put across to you so please keep that in mind uh that's why i'm trying to like push that aspect of re-rolling hence why i'm re-rolling on jp i re-rolled and i had a wonderful time clearing dungeons i had a wonderful time clearing uh, deficits and whatnot it was great hence why i want to push that uh, at least to you so you are aware of what is going to come down to um, and having those characters are going to be wonderful, correct? They're going to be wonderful, all right? So 
please keep that in mind um but yeah that is what it currently looks like i uh, realized that up and coming our next characters are probably the midnight suns so realize that we have licked we have raya we have fauna and we have veto uh approaching to the game uh, relatively soon within the next four weeks we should have all of them so please do realize that also uh so if you were saving for them planning for them whatever at least you have that as knowledge um beyond that i think season two is that what it is after that i have no idea how the seasons work i have to like make sure to catch up with everything uh what the banner schedule is like but for right now just wanted to share that with you hope you enjoyed the video quick little uh, talk about the tier list the must-have units the best units to go for uh, and you get an idea that again a lot of these units last till that time in pvp uh, and pve on jp which is six months six damn months it's a lot of time so have fun boys have fun thanks for watching